Hello, Shuck and Squirrel here and welcome back to another episode of One Hour In. Today we're playing The Artful Escape, which is, there's no way it doesn't get copyright striked on YouTube because it's going to have lots of music in it, but it's okay because, you know, sometimes, sometimes we make these sacrifices. Um, yeah, so this is going to be very music centered. Um, from what I understand, it's pretty much a walking simulator, but with very, very, very pretty uh, visuals. So, you know, we're going to give it a go. I, to be honest, a game about lots of colours and music. I wouldn't expect to have this menu screen, but you know, that's maybe that's just a sign of the type of game we're playing. So anyway, let's press the A button. Once again, get started. I will obviously start the one hour timer, but um, oh, the music is really nice. Also, re really like the little birdies that seem to just be hopping about. I'm not really counting this as the game because Ooh. maybe I should start the timer. This is very nice. This is very pretty. You know what? I'm going to start the timer. Bing. There you go. Timer started. Decision made. To strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life, hold eggs. Okay. I wonder what all the attachments on the thing. Is it so it has speakers coming out of it? To play a folk anthem about the green acreage of Calypso, Colorado, hold X. Hang on, that's the same button. You said we don't have individual buttons for the type of music we're going to be playing? Hmm. Oh, Jesus, no. Don't do it. Don't end it all. You can do this. I thought he was floating then. Oh, okay. To shred a sci-fi guitar odyssey, hold X. Clearly, much rather play that. <laughs> Do these sort of cliffs actually exist, especially with a bench on them? Like just these giant, massive, pointy, off the edge into death cliffs. Oh, hello, Jesus! Your look doesn't match your sound. <laughs> Excuse me? What the f- where did he put that? Whoa! You can't do that in public? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Do you- do you look like a space opera and sound like a drifter? Complete tonal disconnect. It gives me anxiety. <laughs> oh, sorry, that- that was... I'm- I'm usually much more serious. Hmm. <laughs> I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. For sure. first show. Ooh. Uh-huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards. And my mind wanders away. Where to? Oh, um... Yeah, let's go suspended Maybe in a sunbeam. Nebula. Suspended in a sunbeam. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. What, right by a cliff? Would you agree? Um, I'm the danger diabolic. Uh, not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. <laughs> I wasn't listening. Let's go for that not one. Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. Fair enough. I'm going to commit a crime. Whoa, what? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Um, what's the crime? What's the crime? The best kind. The mysterious kind. Um, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. Um, but apparently if I ask who are you, I'm just going to get like a nondescript answer and then we're going to have to do this anyway. Okay. So let's just do this anyway. I'll do it. I knew you would. Well, I didn't seem to have much option to be fair. 
Dope. Here begins. Uh, can I walk off the cliff? We gotta see. Come on, everyone's gotta try walking off the cliff. God damn it. Oh, okay. It's not a walking simulator. It's a running simulator. Can I go up that way? No. Okay. Only left or right. Fair enough. This is a lovely, lovely woods. I would love to walk in these woods. At what point does a walk become a hike? <gasps> squirrel! Oh, it's a little squirrel. Doesn't have a shotgun though, so you know. Why do I care? A scenic lookout. Press Y to interact. Summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. Okay. Thank you for that tidbit of information. Like, I'm assuming, like, like, is it once you... Oh, shit. Hey. Like, is it once you bring, like, hiking gear that's become a hike? Or is it when you've been walking for a certain amount of time? Whoa! Man, this is very pretty. Oh, there's a little bird there. That was really nice. Pretty little red bird. Oh, God. Nice. Climbing. Animations were a little bit magnetic there, but, uh, you know. I have everything. I love how they both wear glasses as well, because someone really didn't want to have to animate eyes. I like that. What the f- How are we here now? What? This can't be right next to a forest, surely? Once again, they're very pretty. Oh, is she a singer? And then we're the musician. Oh, no, I think that might be a male singer. Hello. <laughs> Where did this come from? After party for your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. Uh, they really love skiffle. Good for them. Uh, give them a chance. They're quite forceful with their opinions on skiffle. They're quite forceful with their opinions on skiffle. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. I'm so confused. Oh. All right, let's go. Get in here. Oh, did we pull that out again? Once again, in public. Hold X to play folk ballad. Stop. No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no, seriously, that's nonsense. Hey, when it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. Okay. <laughs> no, not that one. Play again. We communicate with a spaceship. That's worse than the first one. A bit harsh. I'm just having fun. Bonanza. That's it. I'm pretty sure we just communicated with a spaceship. What are you taking? Nothing. <laughs> Valves. Later. Um. Wait, is this Rami stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? man in boulder everyone says so <laughs> punched him in the neck i know i'm francis francis vendetti i know who you are kid i saw the flyers there's a very tiny picture of you on it i never signed off on the flyers you ever made it to the top of a random tree been too scared to try Oh wow. They didn't make us a whole day to climb it. Hey, it's a squirrel! Yes! There's two squirrels already. Love it. Whoa. It's beautiful. Yeah. You could really kill yourself from up here. <laughs> Thanks for that. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. <laughs> I know. Thanks. Thanks. 
So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It's it ain't harsh. so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Hmm. I totally thought she was going to get abducted by an alien spaceship then. Entirely. Oh, our journey's been set. We've had the inciting incident. And let the story... Begun. Begun? Begin. Began? Begun. How we climb the tree, I don't know. And the game doesn't know either, clearly. If Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen... Well, I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. Am I running that, or am I... Nope, I'm t just arriving. Cool. Hey, there's not a tiny picture. There's loads of pictures of... Oh, no, you're the tiny one at the corner. I see. Beethoven, Beethoven the dinosaur. Yeah, there you go, look. Big picture of his uncle and a small picture of him. Just gonna sing a little bit along. Oh, it's actually got lyrics. Okay. And there you go, there's a copyright strike, number seven. It's a just when she touches Christ, this is a hell of a goddamn... And you've got no uh, mountain cart? What are they called? Tram cart? You know you can sit down, Mr. Mr. Glasses guy. Also, is everyone going to wear glasses in this universe, do we reckon? Or are there just going to be very few people? Wow, he's very successful, isn't he? Oh, miss you. Did he die? Oh, he did. R.I.P. Oh, his uncle died. And they want him to be the next one. I see. Yeah, I guess it's quite difficult when you've got, like, shoes to fill. Yep, everyone's wearing glasses. I like the little clickety clock off the... Oh, hello. Francis, you little bastard. Jesus, all right. Come to me, my love. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, <laughs> perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Ooh. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. Um, I hope to, too. hope so, too. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. Yeah, no, we got who you're talking about. I really do. Bye, Goldie. Oh. This place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. <laughs> well, that could be the place she was talking about, surely. Ah, uh, yeah. Man of the hour. Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> Listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Uh, I can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. Uh, you ever heard of Lightman's? You heard of Lightman's? Mm. Junk sci-fi movies. It, it's not a movie. It's a place. <laughs> It ain't in this dead end. Um, I'll catch you I'll later, Tal. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. Hmm. 
You know you just said that all out loud to, to no one. It's a very pretty game. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's mm. it. You avoiding me, son? Jesus, who are you? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. <laughs> what am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. <laughs> despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. Okay. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling <laughs> so much when I say you will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace tea. Jesus, all right. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Okay. At the after party, I guess I could play my own music. Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Okay. Oh, um, no, I want to go this way. I will go upstairs shortly, but I feel like I need to engage Ooh, with everyone. Come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Oh, I guess these were our old friends. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Yeah, I saw the posters. Mm, there better be some skiffle on your show for, <laughs> for your sake. Well, I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. All right, but I'm not going to because I've been told specifically that it's it's my uncle's show, so I, I, I should be doing things related hey, to my uncle. Fella. Oh, that is a very good dog. Oh, okay, that was the end of the interaction. Also, I love those birdies. Bye, birdies. Uh, it's a sight, make no mistake. Uh, I love this place, but it's killing me. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. Let's go for it. It's, it's a sight, sight. make no mistake. Because it is incredible. I mean, can you imagine living there? That's incredible. Oh, okay. I have to it's say it again. It's a sight, make no mistake. All right. Let's go. Is there any reason why I'm going slow? Can I run again? There we go. Thank you. Goodbye, angry skiffle band. Up we go. I feel like we could have just walk up the steps, but it's fine. So I'm gonna go out and limb and say right probably has very little going on, so we'll just go right first. Oh hello. What have you come as? Zombie Van Daddy. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That is in poor taste. <laughs> did you get did you die in a car accident, do we reckon? Alright, yeah, cool. Oh, hello. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Uh, well, I'm his brother's or sister's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Saw the flyers for his show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. <laughs> of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind, once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. <laughs> and then today we're gonna do our best, and that's what's important. Cassandra, oh, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't <laughs> put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. <laughs> lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Ah, so we're always into sci-fi. Interesting. Uh, a scientist poisoned his town's water supply to appear to them as a alien being. 
A king disguise himself as a piece of overcast sky. Or using an illegal avatar, a mutant rises through the aristocracy of a cyber city. Yeah, let's go for that one. Oh. Oh. What have I done? Whoa. <laughs> I didn't read it all in one well, go, did aren't I? Aren't you gonna thank me? Sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I would <laughs> give for a good epiphany. Hey, have you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Ooh. Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. Interesting. Plant page. Expensive books. Minimal security. Oh, <gasps> she does steal. He does steal things from her. What an asshole. Oh, got more stairs going up. This is such a lovely town. Why would anyone call this a dead end? This must get tourists all the time. It's crazy gorgeous. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. <laughs> oh, thing ringing. Um, uh, hello. Francis Vendetti. The pleasure's all mine. Jesus. Here. Hello. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. <laughs> the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Yes. Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. <gasps> Isn't that your fault? Have you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable Ooh. events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's okay. a lot of folks out there counting on you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. <laughs> Imagine the mayor says don't cock it up. And then you just hang up on them. That's the thing with like TV or like... Um, movies like people never end conversations normally. Do, 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 anything of note? Nothing of note. And those mountains, man. Also, I love how I love how that sinks in when you walk over it. What a nice little touch. Through the looking glass. Oh. Hey, Lucy. Uh, I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy's. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation. <laughs> or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy, how many records by people pretending to be someone else? <laughs> I mean, sure. We got Captain Beefheart. Legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Ooh, Hank Williams good. pretended to be a character called Loop the Drifter. Hank Williams? Really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Interesting. <gasps> a second epiphany. <laughs> I love that heart. That, that um, it's got a crash cut. Is that what it's called? Okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. Uh, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. Oh, she thinks you it's an album. Want to check out back? <laughs> nah, got a feeling you won't find it. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, Lucy. Oh, more things to look at. My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's oh. a shrine. And the two. Just to go in, but we don't want to go in yet. We've got to go to the very end of this. See if there's anything interesting. Oh, that's a wasted journey. Knock all that time. All that time wasted going there. All that time wasted going back. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah, they were, actually. Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Buckaroo. Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. 
don't seem myself. <laughs> that was a very easy epiphany trigger. I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever oh, seen. Oh, Jesus, all right. Okay. <laughs> Will you be down for dinner? <laughs> Boy, you loved may already be gone. Jesus, kid, all right. But are you having the enchiladas or not? Yes, I will have the enchiladas. How, how do I nod? Right, it's my attempt at nodding. Yes, I will have enchiladas. Also, there's no way you made enchiladas. I've made enchiladas. They are, there's, there's a lot more things that should be out on the surfaces. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning until the end. Oh, no did they die in the car crash? Oh, did they die in a car crash together? Oh, Jesus, that was a, that was cool. <laughs> well, okay then. I know there were like Twitter pages and stuff, which is like, can you pet the dog? And obviously in this game you can. I wonder if there's one which is, can you flush the toilet? <laughs> um, oh, wow. Yes, we are clearly not into folk music. story of this is really cool although i don't like the fact that the only way into his room is like that that is there's got to be a fire safety hazard right if people believe an alien could play music yeah why not could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions um unlikely because of our uh, atmosphere i believe isn't it the ionosphere i think this could is i step on stage not as myself but as someone else entirely no, because you're doing it for your uncle. Everyone's come for your uncle. They're not come for you. You're not staying in the spotlight. You can do this at any time. You shouldn't be doing this. Uh, it's getting late. I should put on a record and chill out. Uh, let me take one more look around. I should put on a record and chill out. Oh, wow, very different animation system for this one thing. We mankind are just 62 miles away from the infinite. What does that mean? On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere. Oh, I see. That makes tundra sense. Beyond the limits of human comprehension. I see what they mean. Six, 60 the miles of The universe, yeah. in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation, waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet. Okay, so this is like a daydream. A daydream? Like a... I don't know. Ooh, a nightmare. I love how this has been filmed. Oh god, that is... Not a nice looking alien. <laughs> very, very sharp tonal shift there. this late hello oh I assumed uh, it would be inside the house hello where's his mum greetings mom? Jesus okay so he's actually talking to an alien right now I'm assuming in his imagination Why has got a hole in his brain? What in the... Good evening, little bee. A pleasant climate here. Don't you think? Mild. 
fragrant almost. How do you sniff? You don't have a nose. Actually, you might have in all that insect or what? gross stuff. What are you wearing? <laughs> I am looking for Francis Vendetti. Um, you found him defensive. You found him wary. You found him impressed. Found him. I am the hypnogogic Zom. Hi, Zom. I appear tonight as a herald of doom and calamity. Oh, okay then. The support act on our tour is indisposed. A replacement <laughs> is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Ah, captain? is that going to be the girl? What he calls himself Lightman. Ooh. Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? I it's supposed to be in Calypso. But I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still. <laughs> here what? we go. We're going to space. Oh, fuck. Wow, we've got an outfit in it. How did you do that? <laughs> Where are my pajamas? Does it adhere to your hideous... Humanoid arrangement. I mean, bit harsh. With it. Why are you giving this to me? Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Is Lightman some kind of exclusive club? Is Lightman some kind of theatre? So we're gonna go alien Is disco. Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand, human. I'm about to get an awesome. Yep, there we go. Oh God. Hold extra shred. Having a great deal of fun on that. I mean, am I just shredding forever or am I going to be told to stop? What if I stop? Okay, yeah, I was going to stop. Did I do that? Was that me? You're turning into another dimension. Ooh. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Jesus, okay. Hey, wait! What does that mean? How did you organize this? <laughs> Hmm. Maybe I have to find a really good spot to do it. Hmm. No, this isn't a big right spot. Oh, I love the lights on my suit lighting up. That's cool. What about here? Is this a good spot to shred? Oh, I'm meant to be turning all the lights on. Oh, of course, I'm an idiot. Oh, I can hold X while I... Ah, I see. I'm a big old silly sausage, aren't I? Right. Let's get everyone up. All the ones I missed. Okay, there we go. Did I do the lights all the way to the edge over here? I did. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Didn't realise I could shred and run. My arms don't seem to be moving, really, to be doing all this shredding, but maybe it's like a special energy guitar. Sorry, slight interlude. And then we're back at it. Oh wow, fireworks and everything. Holy shit. God, people are sleeping and they're massively pissed. Not even by the noise, but the fucking lights are turning on in the house. I mean, is the dimension we're tuning into one with all these lights on? <laughs> oh, 
I just love that he just stops playing. Because you know, I can't, I can't do it while I'm in, in the thing. So I'm assuming Lightman, like I'm assuming Lightman is the the lady, or maybe not. All right, I love your style, man. That's how you make an entrance, baby. <laughs> <laughs> No one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm afraid so. Uh, how, how? How did you? I heard the word. You got the aura, baby. Um. How did you do that? Is there a crane? <laughs> you heard, what? heard right. Ah. Dance out toward oblivion and meet her like an old friend. Are you, Lightman? Jammer of the glamour gone himself. Now, we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. <laughs> Never, ever. This is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. <laughs> I can't just go running off into the night. Of course you can. Night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're going to see flotsam that'll change you forever. I'm excited. Is Rick and Morty going to show up? Because the forever. choice of wording is very similar. <laughs> Let me give you the first lesson free. Oh, whoa. Oh, I was just like, ah, oh, I recognize, that, this is recognize those controls. Musical key. <laughs> I've got those buttons and those controls. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. You're all over it like a boat job. Now repeat <laughs> after me. All right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Now copy my notes, but add your own timing, your own rhythm. Okay. Fun. A natural. Thanks. What do you think, Zom? He'll be dead by dawn. Jesus. Excellent. You're hired, baby. Follow me. What's the pay? Do you do uh, Earth, you know, Terran uh, currency, or are you all? Uh, Florum and flips him and shit like that. 
Oh, there you go. Wait, this isn't here. This isn't a thing. It, this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is gonna blow your mind. I'm excited. Blow it. Blow my mind. <laughs> I feel like it come up with saying act uh, end of act one. Then there's intermission, and then we're going to act two. Luxury packages. What is this place? Like a travel agent? Mm hmm. The cosmic extraordinary. Oh, it's very pretty. Look at this. I have never heard of any of these places. <laughs> so never, never, ever. Last Tuesday, next birthday. Destination C extraordinary. Hailer Troms, Glimmendim, Whale Zone, Danger Level 4, Cantaloupe, Seahorse, Dolphin. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, guys. Francis, one little admonition. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, image rights, sync, narrative, licensing, insurance, posthumous royalties, and spectromic signature. You know, all pretty standard. Sounds so standard. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. You get all that? Yep. Not one bit. Voice signature accepted. Onward! Like what? Fuck. Damn it. They've stolen all my royalties. Wow, this done's amazing. How could this fit beneath Calypso? It's impossible. How has he not worked out he's dreaming yet? Like, well, he's not even suggested once that he might still be dreaming. Imagine, like, being unsure about whether you want to be a folk musician or a sci-fi musician. And you immediately have a dream about where you're getting abducted by aliens and you don't think, hmm, this, this might still, this might be a dream. Oh, he's gorgeous though. This this design is incredible. Oh, hang on. Pa to pass this sign, French to kiss pass death. Pass this sign is to French kiss death. That's a striking visual. It is. All right. <laughs> Just death comes out and sticks a tongue down our throat. Hello, people. Are What's we getting French kiss death? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Don't you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known, baby. Beyond okay. that door lies the cosmic extraordinary. I'm excited. What does that mean? Oh man, that's the great matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality. Nice. Often described as the in-between bits. It's a great name. Um, so this is a th I think fucking hell, man. He's, he's still not got it. I suddenly feel quite uncomfortable. I suddenly feel quite uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it. That's completely natural. <laughs> Hold your tongue to the roof of your mouth and think of the color purple. All right, I'm doing it. What does it look like? Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you, who knows? <laughs> Hopefully, it's, is it based on maybe the book we chose, do you think? It'll look differently based on that. We went for like a cyborg trying to... Uh, they get through the aristocracy. I never know how to say that word. Um. Okay. Ooh. Very nice. Rainbow Road. Gonna have Mario driving by. We go back. <laughs> we cannot. Oh, it's very pretty. He's broken the road. What's going on? Impossible. <laughs> There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? 
You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. Oh, you're can looking I for the lung. <laughs> the cosmic lung. What's that? It's home, baby. It's home. Thanks for the nondescript. Th thanks. I want to be able to fly with a guitar. Ooh, Jesus, right. Oh, crap. Wow, visually, this is very, very pretty. Jesus. To be fair, I think my route's way more fun than flying, like, slowly using a guitar. Nice bit of double jumping. Whoop, whoop. Hey, it's his robot. Has he not worked out as a dream yet? Oh, got frame rate. Too many visual effects. Oh no, the robot's looking at us. This is ridiculous. Oh. All against them, just to pick us up. Um. Hello, I'm looking for a lung. Oh. Jesus. Okay, that's got the, that's the music thing. So we got to play music. I'm guessing. Well, if it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. Um, yeah, that's me. It's got a strange sound to you. Whoa. I'm a wonder. Make no mistake. Are you God, <laughs> darling? You are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once from a distance. <laughs> what was it like? She was playing pinball. No way. Way. All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. What do you call yourself? What? Out here? I'm not sure. I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... Uh... There's something I don't want to take with me. Something I don't want to take with me. In this place, you are the namer of names, but choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How do you mean? They wander off. Begin <laughs> to breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners, scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? Oh, I am. Oh, I get to name. Oh, this is cool. Okay. All right. Uh, more mighty, courageous, terrible, villainous, powerful, comical, wondrous, delusional, excited, petite, angry, clever, friendly, cruel, elegant. Whoa, there's so many options. Jesus Christ. Dynamite. Wow, there's so many options. Laser brain. <laughs> I am the laser brain. <laughs> okay, so I really liked I like the one where I was like unsure. I think that's interesting. So where is that one? Unmissable. Okay, it's more. I find it more interesting to have some uh, like doubt, delusional. There, yeah, I like that. Uh, I am the delusional. Oh, what do we think? What should, what should be fun? Um. 
Um, man, I, I don't know. I'm trying. I want. It's got to be alliteration, right? It's a delusional. Uh, I'm thinking like driver. I'm thinking like drain. I'm thinking like. Um, All right, I'm going for it. I don't know why. It's just come to my head and I like it. I like this. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I went for main drain. Delusional main drain scatter brain. I don't know. I just I just find that fun in my mind. It just came into my head and I just like it. Main drain. Oh, oh, oh hang on. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Hang on. Fame drain. There we go. Because that was a yeah. Fame drain scatter brain. Yes. Yeah, that's me. And where you headed. Oh no, it cut it off at the end. The fame drain scat. <laughs> it cut it off. <laughs> and where are you headed, fame drain scat? Cosmic one. Really? You're touring with light? Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so. Oh, I'm caught in a sunbeam. The delusional fame drain scat. <laughs> oh, I didn't pay attention. That was so stupid. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> ah, I think that's the cosmic lung. This game, man. Oh, does it look like a long inside? Oh, not a fan of that. Welcome to the cosmic long. We're gonna go to all the cosmic organs, do you reckon? Or is the cosmic? I thought I assumed cosmic long was just the name of our ship. But... Zom, what happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung, our vessel across oh, the was extraordinary. Right. Okay. Just... What does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless <laughs> cacophonous debauchery? You mean like a music you mean festival? Like a music festival? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore? Hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice? Human. Okay. Don't lose your head. Alright. Thanks for that. Mind. Um, left or right? Well, he went left, so I want to go right. Do, do, oh, okay. Both go. Oh, God. Ah, this has an ending. That's good. It's like some far out Hendrix album cover. It's pretty cool. Can I play? I cannot play on this viewing platform. Disappoint. Oh, um, hello, people. This is so far out. What's up there, lad? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my head. Ah, a sensible thing, too. Rather important, one said. Thank you, random alien guy. No way. There's a whole damn theater in here. How can that surprise you? With all the things going on, why is that the thing that surprises you? <laughs> Where to? Oh wow. Um, just here for the moment, thank you. Oh, dance? Oh, this song makes me feel like pulling some shapes. Definitely the shapes I would have chosen. 
And you're performing with him, you bellend. Have you not worked that out yet? Right. Where to? Um, we'll go to the low decks, please. Thanks. Please don't go anywhere because I need you to move around because you move the entire floor for some reason. I can't believe they let us backstage. I know. Act cool. Cooler than usual. <laughs> Hey, it's the girl. He's never played a show. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. <laughs> Where are you sending him? From the heliotrons. Oh, of course the heliotrons. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the heliotrons? Ah, Francis! Knew you'd probably make it. No, 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 not Francis. I didn't want it to follow. Well, I got a different name now. It's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. <laughs> the whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamorcon. Wow. What, what's a Glamorcon? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. All right. I'm looking forward to getting fried. Yes, really murders my vibe. <laughs> now, curtains are approaching. Any questions? Um, nope. I'm just gonna waltz blindly into the unknown. Nope. I'm just gonna waltz blindly into the unknown. Visit Violetta. She'll get you tuned in. Okay, that was Wait, the top floor. Is there anything else I should? I, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa. No one is going to believe this. No, no, they're not. They're clearly not because this cannot be real. Oh, it's really framing there for some reason. To be moving parts, clearly. Hello? Can I check your coat? <laughs> professional, exceptionally discreet service. You honestly look like you're selling the coats. I'm afraid we're close. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. All right. That's, that, that sounds tough, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where to? Um, the mezzanine bees. Oh, this is cool. I'm not chasing you fluffy people, it just happened to be nearby. My guitar. Okay, uh, there was a place left. I just don't want to miss the left thing. But man, we're really running out of time. <laughs> I feel like we've barely got anywhere in this game. That right, was the left way. How can I get you? Wait, how old are you? <laughs> uh. I exist outside the realm I of age. Exist outside the realm of age. Not here, you don't look. If it's glam glam juice you want, try downstairs. We don't really cater to kids here. Wow. Wow. I mean, fair play, but wow. If you don't exist outside of age, cheer. It's so, crazy. This is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty, a certain <laughs> je ne sais quoi. quoi. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. Uh -huh. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Good Ooh. job. What impossible things have you acquired? Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? I hmm. stole that. Wow. Stole a whole theater? An opera house, yes. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash away with one. <laughs> I left a paper mache replica in its place. That's very funny. That's very cool. 
Right. Before I took... Oh, there's a little viewing... Oh, that's cool. I love the little viewing ports everywhere. That's cool. Pay no attention to me. Um. Okay, I won't. Violetta, you gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not looking. What were you thinking? Coming out here? This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Hey. I didn't want you for the show. White men did. And only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. For your big show? Oh, crap. I forgot about the <laughs> show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung, we put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think I'm gonna hurl. Relay connected successfully. We're done. Nice. Anything else? Oh, looks like we're about to have time to stop. And boom. Let's turn that off. Right, let's just finish the conversation. Um, well, wish well, me luck. Wish me luck. Wow, so is that it? Am I done? Am I ready to go on? Is that... <laughs> it took us an hour to get to the very first like show we've got to perform. Is that what was required? I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to run around. Oh, what a cool menu screen. That's really cool. Well, there we go. That is the Artful Escape. And um, I think I've said a few times on my channel, um, I've certainly said it in passing to you know anyone who will listen, um, that stories, that they sort of have places that they work best. So like books, one of the things that books excel over TV or video games is that you can have the character's thoughts you know you can't really do character thoughts in tv you can sort of allude to it but you can't you can't have that internal dialogue that you can have in books and, and that's where obviously books excel um tv they excel on obviously visuals when visuals are important i mean books are great for the for your imagination but nothing's quite the same as actually visually looking at it and seeing something um, and then what games are good at are the interaction elements. It's the, you know, the the actual solving the problems yourself. I mean, I guess some TV or movies can work with like a puzzle that you can put together before the characters solve it. But typically speaking, what's good about a video game is the interaction. This is unfortunately one of those games where it's it doesn't need to be a game. I appreciate it probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't a game because uh, of the budgets required in animation and, and, and things like that. So by having it as a game, you can provide this story in a far more cost-effective way. Um, but obviously the level of interaction so far, I mean, we're an hour in, and there was a Simon Says uh, sound um, thing and pressing A on things. That's pretty much the gist of the... Um, the, the you know, the, the interaction, a few jumping segments. It, it just, it doesn't it's not really a platformer it's not really a it is it is just a walking simulator as as i as i expected it would be and like i said that's not necessarily bad but it's one of those things where if if your main selling point for your thing is the music and the visuals then ideally the story should be a a tv show or or a movie so, you know this this would be a very strong movie i guess i guess that that is once again that's the problem is would you come to watch this movie a game allows for a lot smaller, I guess, buy-in. You know, your your level of commitment can be a lot smaller. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there are some elements in it where when we play, we'll have a few, um, you know, different things we can do, maybe. I mean, the choices we've had in dialogue obviously don't really matter, especially when um, sometimes they just loop back around and you have to select the same thing anyway. Um, I don't know. I guess we could have skipped a few things and gone straight to the house without talking to everyone. Um, yeah, I don't know. I it, it's it's just that thing. It's like it, it wouldn't have made been made if it wasn't a game. But is it really a game in in the game sense? You know, did I enjoy myself? I did. I did enjoy myself. I thought visually it was incredible. Um, animation, colors, everything, music, really, really nice. Um, but it just wasn't the most engaging. Um, the voice acting was spot on. Uh, the story is actually really interesting. Um. I would say it was good. I would. I really would say it was good. I just, I don't know. It, it's it, 
it didn't really feel like a game. And then we've had another one like that um, some other time in uh, one hour in. I can't think what it was now. Um, but we had the similar thing of, was it really a game? Um, and it was just, you know, walking around. But yeah, anyway, there you go. That's that's the first hour. Um, there's obviously, we didn't even get to our first show. So it'd be interesting to see how they work out. Um, but that's it for today. So thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Shotgun Squirrel out.